wanting to reflect on the culture of agriculture, the sacredness of agriculture, and these are for me very important impulses because agriculture has been desacralized, degraded, the land has been commodified, seed has been patented, food has been commodified, and we will not be able to take any future steps without reclaiming the sacred. And that's why it was important to come and join amazing 800 people who are all thinking with consciousness. Es ist einfach schön, so viele Menschen aus der ganzen Welt, die mit biologisch dynamische Landwirtschaft machen, zu begegnen, zu hören, zu erzählen. Ja, das ist ein sehr schönes Erlebnis. From the period with the online conference and the non-physical meetings, so it's like re rediscovering this great gift it is to come here and meet all these people in this, this social setting. Aerodynamics has this strange, it punches vast above its weight, you know, it may be a few thousand people, but it can find international recognition and challenge and international activity with the farms and the huge social projects that come out of biodynamics. I'm very happy because I realized there is a lot of like a people, especially young people, very interested in biodynamic movements, so I think this kind of uh, knowledge I like to take to my, to my country. die Natur über sich selber hinauszuführen in eine Kulturnatur. Immer bringt man Himmel und Erde auf neue Art, dass man eine wunderbare Wiese hat. Totale neu kulturelle Neuschöpfung. Biodynamics doesn't just grow stuff. It actually changes who we are. It's a practice like yoga. It's working on our inner selves, on our thoughts, on our minds, on our, the way we communicate, the way we interact with things. It's pretty incredible when it comes to making humans better people. And I think we can all agree right now that in this climate crisis that we're living through, we do need to ask this of ourselves. Like, how can we become a person who has a lower impact or even a positive impact on soil and on the earth and on each other? I think for me, this reverent and, um, and deeply respectful relationship with the land and uh, where I, I enter into a, both a dialogue with it, but also a, in service of it in a way that, I mean, biodynamic farming requires a lot of attention and care and timing and I guess any farming does, but somehow biodynamic farming helps us stay within a, a structure that opens to a deeper relationship. Biodynamics and anthropocity always flows out and you have to try and bring it back into yourself. It flows out into the world where it's of great, you know, it makes the world a better place. And you also have to then bring it back into your sort of soul, to hold it, to make it real. So what I take home is that everywhere people are thinking, people are creating, people are collaborating, and the possibilities are tremendous. I think that that makes this place very powerful, that, that it's a place to come together and and remind you of where you want to go.